it over to my partner, Mr. Sal Avitello, for this very special moment. Zed, turn around, young lady. So tonight, we are honoring Lizette with a Lifetime Achievement Award for Brian Goldberg, who has a career of over 30 years in the business. Right now, Lizette Melendez, who was a Puerto Rican born and raised in Spanish Hall in 1967. Lizette got her first big break when she recorded her first record in 1988 that became a DJ favorite entitled Make Noise. Produced by Carlos Berrios, and after recording countless demos, they recall it together forever. At this point, Freestyle was looking for a new sound, and every label passed. Except for me and Andy Panda on Fever Records, I was the smart one to put out her record. Fever Records signed up to a distribution deal with Fever, Def Jam, Sony, and Together Forever was released in 1990. That record broke barriers and became a top 40 Billboard charting record. She also had live performances on Showtime at the Apollo, Arsenio Hall, and Soul Train, and many more. Fever Records put him in the studio for her debut album, Together Forever, and her second single in 1991. A Day in My Life came out was also a hit on Billboard. Fever Records released her second album, which included her first release, Goody Goody. It was in Japan that she received her big success, hitting number one on the Japanese chart and going triple platinum, baby. Yeah! In Japan, baby. That's why I like Betty Hunters. Yeah, right. She earned the Grammy for Best New Artist in, in Japan. In 1997, she released her third album on Fever Warlock, entitled Imagination, when her release time passes by. In 1998, with all her success, she decided to dive deeper into her roots and ended up signing a record deal with Sergio George, who produced Mark Anthony and La India. She also won an award for Best New Artist in that category. Lizette has recorded in every genre and is fearless to try something new. Since then, she started her own label and has released many records like Rise with awareness for domestic violence and more. She is still performing all around the country and has no intention of slowing down. So with that being said, put your hands together for our 2023 Lifetime Achievement recipient, Lizette Melendez. There you go, Lizette. I know you and I have one thing in common. We love to talk. But let's go, let's go. No, we love to fight. She calls me Rosenberg. That's when I know she's mad at me. Okay, here we go. Well, anyway, tonight is your night, and I'm very proud, so. I appreciate the fact that I'm still doing what I do, and I'm not incarcerated. So I let people fly for everything that they do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love people like, and I always say, you know, you need people like me in freestyle. Because I shake it up a little bit, I do a little bit of the unknown, I even surprise myself at times. But this is what it's all about, and I want to always keep you on your toes and wanting more. That's the reason why I try to change the game up just a little bit. But I want to thank my peers. I want to thank Noel, Judy Torres, everyone that's here tonight. Steve, George Milan, Rosemary, of course, Brian, White Boy, yourself, um, Sal, at the title that we always, listen, we always fight no matter what. We're going to end up in a nursing home together, so that's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. But listen, if you're the reason why we still do what we do, if you don't buy these tickets, we're not here. So thank you all for coming down tonight, always. Thank you to my friends. Cynthia and I was here tonight, Cora. George Lamont. I don't know where Sapphire is. She's the most senior to my mission. I'm not even sure. I have my lineups all confused, but I mean well. But I want to thank you all anyway, regardless, Speedy, I'm going to give it to you. And, and I want to give a special shout out to my friend MBW that has been my rock and we just kick it when I'm at my worst. So thank you, DJ MBW, for his wife Patricia Rosen.